said, oh, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I want to tell you about where I'm camping while I'm here in Des Moines, Iowa. And this is a pretty amazing place. It really surprised me, and I bet it's really going to surprise you. <laughs> so let me tell you about it. This is the campground of the Iowa State Fair right in town in Des Moines. And they have this huge campground. And there I am. And there's a few campers over here. There's very few campers around. There's one over there. <laughs> and you can see a long line of those electrical boxes here. There's more up on the hill there. And look over here. There's just a huge number of them. In fact, believe it or not, this campground has 2,300 camp spaces. And one thing I like about this place, which is pretty typical to fairgrounds that have campgrounds, is it's a pretty wide open area. So I don't have any problem getting satellite TV reception on my antenna there. Normally I don't need solar when I have hookups, but now over here there are several people in the trees and they're there because they like the shade and they probably don't even have satellite dishes. There's a lot of places over here that have shade if that's what you prefer. So it's got shade and sunny, whichever you want. And I'm plugged into 50 amp. The box here also has, well, this is surprising, two 50 amp connections and the 20 amp. Same thing on this side here, which would be for someone camped right there. And I do have water connection there and a water connection here. All these sites have both electric and water. And there are some sites that have both electric water and sewer connections. Now this is the office building over here. I'm gonna go show you that now. This is the men's restrooms on this side of the building. And there are some benches here. If you wanna hang out in the shade. This is a huge men's restroom and they've got three shower rooms here and a handicap shower room and then right over here is a laundry room. It's kind of a small one. It's got four units and a bench to sit and wait. Here's another restroom building that has two cold drink machines and there are dumpsters all over the place here this is another area of the campground that as well you can see is very little being used and this is the first campground i've seen with its own windmill <laughs> i'm not sure what that's for you know what this is the first time i have been right underneath one of these things and it is twirling around very slowly. I wonder if they have any ice around here. What do you think? <laughs> By the way, all of the fairgrounds are open. So you can ride around and look at the various buildings and facilities. Too bad they don't have this sky ride in operation. That would be fun. The pigs and chicks place is closed. That's too bad. I'd like to have one of each. Oh, and they strip. Nice. And they have 27 degree beer. That's my favorite kind. You know, it's kind of a shame that they can't open these places throughout the summer. Seems like they can make a lot of money selling food and drinks here. Well, that completes my tour of the grounds. One more thing here, kind of of interest. This is Iowa's 
first church and school and courthouse. It's padlocked, so I can't go in right now. Interesting. But I can look in the window. Just has a bunch of benches and that display. And a nice shady lawn. And even has an electrical hookup box here with 20 amp to have some outdoor event here. Now let me go inside my motorhome and show you a map of the park and their website. So here is the map of the campgrounds. Doesn't quite look like 2,300 spaces, but that's what they say. And here shows what they have. There is one, two, three, shower houses with restrooms and there are several other toilets around and there are three dump stations for the people who don't have dumps at their sites now let me show you their website on my computer here it's Iowa State fairgrounds.org and as it says here 160 acres 2300 sites with water and electric 734 with sewers and here are the rates $30 for water electric sewer or $28 for water and electric now during the fair the rates and other things, I guess, are considerably different. The fair is always in mid-August, so outside of the fair it's open mid-April to mid-July, and then again August, late August to mid-October. So I have, highly recommend the Iowa State Fairgrounds as a place to stay when you're in the Des Moines area. Good day folks.